Hello, my name is Don and welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be continuing with the bulk ammunition series. In today's video, we're gonna be shooting some AR tactical and some shoot 'em up CCI mini mag hollow point. So stay tuned. All right guys, in the last video I had asked if we should allow the CCI mini mags into the bulk ammunition test. And it was an overwhelming yes from you guys. So we are gonna allow it. Um, the only reason I had even asked is because most of the time the mini mags come in these 100 round sleeves. They're, you know, the rounds are individually separated and I wouldn't consider this loose bulk ammunition. But uh, the, the mini mag 36 grain hollow points were offered in loose ammunition in these packs here and these 325 round packs like this. I think this is a 325 round pack. Yeah, 375 actually. So technically these were both offered as loose ammunitions. Uh, can you buy them like that now? I'm not sure. I know you can still get them in these packs, but I'm not sure that you can get them in these. And I think the only reason for that is uh, they're charging the same price for less ammunition in this package here. So you're only getting three, 300 rounds in this, where loose you're getting 375 rounds. So I think uh, that's the only reason why they don't run them in these bigger packs now you can still get like the the blazers in these bigger packs but um, not the ar tactical or the cci mini mags it's you know down to this so but the only reason for that is you know marketing and uh packaging where they can actually give you less for the same amount of money anyhow we're gonna allow it so we're gonna start off with the ar tactical now the ar tactical is really uh, close to the round nose mini mag. Um, the shape of the bullet is a little different so that it can feed into a 22 AR a little easier, but pretty much the same round, uh, same feet per second, uh, same reliability, just a little bit different shape bullet. So I'm kind of curious to see how it's going to do. Um, we're going to start off with the AR, AR Tactical. Same as always, uh, we're using the Tika T1X. This is a stock barreled action. We're actually using the SH4 Gen 2 Arkin uh, in today's uh, video. I moved the uh, the Rydon Conquer f uh, 5 onto a different rifle, so we have this. This is a 4 to 16. This is a pretty decent scope. It's nice and clear. Uh, I have no problem with the Arkin scopes. Actually, I think they're a very good value. Uh, anyhow, stock barrel action. We do have a Yo Dave trigger spring in here, which brings that trigger down to about 12 ounces. PDC Customs chassis, AccuTac wide bodied uh, bipod. Um, what else? That's pretty much it. We're getting our velocities today off of uh, a Garmin Zero. So uh, we got everything loaded up. Everything should be sighted in and warmed up. So let's get going. First 10 shot group. All in all, a pretty good group. We had two out of the center cluster, but eight shots pretty much in the bullseye. So we had an average of 1209, a standard deviation of 27, extreme spread of 99.7. So not really good chronograph numbers, but decent results on the, uh, the target. All right, second round, second 10 shot group. I just felt the rain drop. That sucks. All right, an average of 12.11, standard deviation of 21.4, so that went down a little bit. Extreme spread of 99.7. All right, first five round group. Wow. Four in one hole and one little flyer. Wow. 
All right, so an average of 12.14, a standard deviation of 20.3, and an extreme spread of 110.3. So as far as chronograph numbers, not the best that we've seen, but down at the down at the uh, the target, it looks really good. Uh, I mean, we had most of the rounds in a nice tight little group, and then a little flyer here and there, which is you know kind of common to. Uh, bulk ammunition but the tightness of those groups are not common to bulk ammunition and guys this is bulk ammunition so um, I did talk to CCI and CCI just stated that this ammunition is the same as they would put in this box or in the 100 round sleeve so it's all the same ammunition it's just packaged differently all right guys so we have the uh, 36 grain mini mags loaded up into the magazines again Two 10 shot groups, three five shot groups. Wow, <laughs> that's pretty damn good. So we had an average of 1328, a standard deviation of 16.3 and an extreme spread of 48.2. That's actually pretty good for bulk ammunition. Let's see how high that goes because all this back bulk ammunition as we shoot it, those numbers always go up. Second 10 shot group. Holy crap. I mean, holy crap, that shoots great. Uh, average 1324, standard deviation of 15.9, and an extreme spread of 52.4. I'd almost like to see how these things shoot at 100 yards after this. I mean, this is pretty incredible. I have seen um, where these faster rounds uh, do really good at longer range. Uh, uh, Mark and Sam after work, they use the velocitors for all their long range stuff. I'm going to order up some of them velocitors too and we'll try some of them in this rifle, but this rifle loves this stuff. It's very impressive actually. All right, first five shot group. Stuff is shooting like match ammunition. Well, that last group wasn't so impressive, but geez, guys, uh, best chronograph numbers yet. Uh, average of 1325, standard deviation of 16.3, and an extreme spread of 59.6. That is, that actually beat the chronograph numbers of the Aguila. Uh, I think that was the round nose that had the good one last week. Um, boy, looks great here. I mean, now those numbers are good for bulk ammunition, not great for uh, match ammunition. But guys, some of them groups down there look like it was shot with match ammunition. Uh, I knew these were accurate, but I didn't know that they were going to shoot like that. Uh, now, you know, you guys might have different results. Your rifle, apparently the Tika loves this stuff. Uh, your gun may not. You may get a different lot. It may not shoot like that. But I, man, I tell you what, that was pretty damn impressive. Um, now I'm kind of curious, just for shits and giggles, let's, um, Let's end this session. We'll shoot some uh, regular mini mags. We're not gonna allow them into the test, but I'm kind of curious to see if a different lot of this ammunition is gonna shoot well out of this. Very, very curious. So this is um, round nose. I don't think it's as hot. Well, that was some hot stuff. 1325 was the average feet per second. What is this stuff supposed to be? 1260. So it was running pretty hot out of this rifle. Let's see what, uh, let's shoot a 10 shot group with the, uh, the regular old mini mags. <clears throat> Round nose. They, they have this listed as target ammunition. 
and the other stuff is hunting ammunition um, so in theory this should shoot better than the 36 grain let's see uh, let's see what it does I'm, I'm very curious now I think that might take over the number one spot actually pretty dang good actually now I'm curious let's shoot one more the numbers uh, average 1231 so almost a hundred feet per second less than the uh, the hollow points standard deviation of 16 extreme spread of 50.6 let's shoot one more 10 shot group and see if uh, let's just have a good comparison not bad but nothing like what the uh, the hollow points did that was uh, that was very impressive if we'll shoot a couple more five shot groups just so we can have a, a decent comparison as to uh, you know how it compares to the other ones I'm starting to shoot. All right, guys. Well, that just kind of goes to show you that the you know the round nose, at least the two lots I got, the, the hollow point actually shot better than the round nose, uh, a lot faster too. Okay, so we ended up with an average of 1237, a standard deviation of 15.3, and an extreme spread of 58.8. I think those are probably the best numbers of the test so far. I think, if I'm not mistaken, this may have taken over the number one spot. Uh, very impressed with this ammunition as far as the, the 36 grain went. The, the 40 grain uh, AR Tactical and the 40 grain Mini Mag didn't really, I mean, they did pretty good. Uh, I think they may be in the middle of the pack somewhere. I'm not sure if it beat the Aguila or not, but uh, all right, guys, that's pretty much all I got for you today. So if you like what you saw, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you like what I'm doing here, go down there and hit that subscribe button. I can't build this channel without you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Oh, for my Patreon members, there's another 10 minutes of footage for your viewing pleasure. Enjoy.